Now let's go. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Zach, as always. And today, we are going to be recapping the entirety of week four of the 2021-2022 NFL. 2022-2023 NFL season. I'm a year behind. Anyway, let's get into the video. Starting off, we have the Dolphin Bengals that play each other on Thursday night. I care less about the Dolphins' loss, and I just really hope two is doing okay. He should never have played in that game. Congrats on the Bengals. No, Dolphins no longer remain undefeated, but that's okay. As long as Tua recovers well, I don't care. Up next, we have the Saints Vikings. I'm going to actually talk about this game. I didn't get to watch this game game like at all, but um, I did see the highlights. It seemed like a very interesting game. Props to Will Lust for almost drilling two 60-yard field goals in like the matter of five minutes. And props to Andy Dalton for keeping a pretty shamble sh Saints offense. There's no Kamara, no Michael Thomas in this game. But Jay Jettis finally like got it together and finally put up another game like he did in week one. So that's good to see. Up next, we have the game of the week, Lions-Seahawks. It's crazy to say. Um, there's The Lions have the number one offense in the league and yet have won one game. Their defense has really been playing bad. And I really love the Lions like as an organization, but that defense has looked rough. Props to the Seahawks for putting up 48 points. Jared, Jared, I mean, Jared Goff had a very good game, though. So did... TJ Hawkinson, I actually had TJ Hawkinson in fantasy leagues, won me those leagues. Very great game from Rashad Penny as well, who I was just waiting for him to have that game. All right, up next we got the Steelers Jets. It's Kenny Pickett time, who also threw three picks. But I think in overall, the Steelers offense looked better, looked more efficient with him on the field. I think with some time to develop, yeah, but Steelers schedule gets really tough. One in seven starting coming, maybe. And for the Jets, congrats on your second win of the year, but let's see how long that lasts. Up next, we got the Giants and the Bears. Oh my goodness, what a bad game. So many mistakes made by both teams. It came to the point where the Giants had to run Wildcat and the Bears still couldn't win. The, ba the Giants, I don't want to talk much about this game. The Giants didn't have a quarterback. Saquon is arguably the best running back in the league and the Justin Fields is horrible. Up next, we got the Titans and the Colts. Okay. What are the Colts? What what are they? They go out, they get shut up by the Jags, they beat the Chiefs the next week, and then lose to a divisional rival at home. And it didn't even look like they were in this game at all. The, the Titans took a lead and didn't look back. Derrick Henry had another good game, but Jonathan Taylor has looked not great. And you, I know that Wentz has played bad, but... Boy, this Colts team has had so many questions. Up next, we have the Chargers, Texans. Chargers, this game was kind of scary. Um, the Texans definitely had a chance to come back. They just couldn't because they're the Texans. But, yeah, the Chargers defense is really starting to scare me now. The fact that they just cannot hold their own, and it has to be the offense throwing, throwing, throwing. I want to see a game where the Chargers defense wins them the game. Where we look at that game and look, yeah, that was the defense that won them the game. We haven't got that game yet. Can we get it out of the Chargers? They are not looking like the contenders that we thought they could be. Um, next, we got the Browns-Falcons. Boring game. No passing touchdowns. A lot of running. Nick Chubb is the best running back in the league. League Jacoby Brissett is bad, as I knew. People were overhyping him way too much. Um, next, we got Commanders at Dallas. I actually watched most of this game out of any game on Sunday. Yeah, um, Wentz is really bad. The Commanders are in serious trouble. And, um, Dallas. For, we thought the season was over when Dak got her Cooper Rush has managed to keep your season alive. Three straight wins. And you got your real test against the Rams. Let's see if they can win that game. I'm next to the Eagles and the Jaguars. I don't want to spend time bashing on the Jags. Um, Lawrence just needs to hold on to the ball, not hold, Lawrence just needs to not turn the ball over as much, a lot of turnovers were, five turnovers are the reason you lose that game, you never win a game by having five turnovers, props to the Jags defense for keeping this game remotely close, and props to the Jags for being a very pleasant surprise this year, but great, great job Eagles, you continue to be 4-0, only team in the undefeated club. Up next we got the Atlanta Ravens playing the Buffalo Bills. 
It was cool we did it against Miami when you blew that 21-point lead, but can we not do it again, Baltimore? Yeah, very questionable play calling by John Harbaugh at the end of the game to just go for it instead of just take the easy take the easy um field goal that Justin Tucker would have easily made. Yeah, very, very questionable calls all around by the Ravens in the second half. Josh Allen didn't even look that good. So, yeah. The Ravens often stalled in the second half. I still think Lamar is the front runner for MVP as of now. But I want to see the Ravens close a game out. Who do they play next? They play the Bengals next week. I want to see them win that game. Up next, we have the Cardinals and the Panthers. Who would have thought that these two quarterbacks were number one overall pick Heisman Trophy winners? Very boring game. Not fun. Um, Frankie Luke. Frankie Louisville had a pick six, and that was about the most exciting part of the game. Because I'm pretty sure that the, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, no, Panthers had one more offensive touchdown. Sorry, yeah, that was half of the Panthers' offense right there. A Frankie Louisville pick six. I didn't watch much of this game, so yeah, a divisional rivalry that didn't even seem like seem like much happened. The Raiders Broncos. It was probably Russell Wilson's best game as a Bronco, but even then, they still lost. The defense allowed up 32 points, which has been very uncharacteristic of it. It's been a really solid defense so far. I'll give them that. But the offense has been so bad. We have to watch them on Thursday night again. I'm sick and tired of watching them on primetime. All right. Well, congrats. Congrats, Raiders. You got your first one of the year. Up next, we got a game that shouldn't have been close. Packers-Patriots. I do want to say something. The fact that this game was close, does that prove Mac Jones was never a good quarterback? Because I think that does. I just think Patriots have a really good scheme with great running backs, a great offensive line, and yeah, a very strong def- and a very good defensive co- coach and Bill Belichick that will keep them in games. The in reality, people say if Mac Jones played this game, it would be a different story. I don't believe that. I really don't think it makes a difference. From watching this game, it didn't seem like Bailey Zappi was really restricting the offense from their abilities. So yeah. All right, Chiefs Bucks. I knew this game was over when the Bucks fumbled at the one year. Oh, fumbled on the kickoff. That when when a game starts that poorly for a team, you know it's over. I watched the I watched Chiefs drive, turned off the TV. TV boom, shocker. I wake up, game, Chiefs win. Mahomes looked great. Actually, a very good game from the Bucks offense, which hasn't been struggling all year, but a bad game from the Bucks defense that has been a lead all year. So the things flop. Hopefully the I mean the Bucks have an easy stretch of games coming up. I'm not worried for them. They still have this division in the bag. I mean Saints have underperformed. Panthers look bad, and Falcons are the Falcons. And finally, ending this week, we had the Rams and the 49ers. Um, fun game, in the sense that it was fun watching Debo Samuel, but Rams offense has looked very bad, and that has not changed. 49ers defense is a really good defensive unit, though. I'll give them that. And I'm really interested to see how the Niners finish off the season. I think that they really can be a good team. They can be a good team. So, yeah. I had them going to the NFC Championship. It's, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. And hopefully we can see the Rams actually look like a competent team for once. Hold on, before we get, I want to see the Rams play next. They play Dallas next week. Yeah, if you don't beat Dallas Rams, um, this is concerning. All right, well, I know this video was short, but, you know, most of these games were very interesting. So, yeah, we guys like to subscribe and the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.